Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel Rigging in 3ds Max Chapter 5. In this chapter, we are going to create the foot joints. Uh, in the last chapter, we have created the leg joints and also uh, connected the eye key part. And in this chapter, we are going to create the foot joints. For creating the foot joints, move on to the side view. Any of the view, you can move to the left or right, doesn't matter. Go to the bones and click starting from the uh, heel joint click on the tip of the toe create another joint over there and end it up there why you are creating this uh, two joints this is actually act as a uh, toe ball and this is going to act as a uh, toe tip now this is called a reverse foot technique there are lots of uh, reverse foot technique uh, there but uh, this one I found the most uh, simplest one to remember no grouping method nothing whatsoever but uh, this one is a very very effective one uh, and just uh, you have to uh, uh, make a connection with the uh, upper joint chains so uh, and and we can have the uh, rotation of the uh, leg uh, from the foot roll sorry a toe ball and or the toe tip so right now we have to the make the make sure that the position is exactly where it should be move on to the front viewport and just make sure it's in exactly in the right position and uh, make a duplicate copy of that thing make a duplicate and just make it a mirror so the axis of the other joint remain the same fine so right now what you have to do keep when it's rotating it should take the entire uh, leg joints with but here it's not working like that so for that thing we have to uh, connect this uh, IK handle to this uh, last joint of the foot joint chain uh, so what will I do S select this uh, IK handle link tool click and drag it and release your mouse button over here you see there's a blink and it's just connected how can get a uh, sure that just rotate this you see that uh, the, the upper joint chain has been moving towards it and even I can move the parent joint and you will see the entire skeleton is moving so that is the actually uh, process and we make sure that the yes the position is quite right so <coughs> same thing will be go for uh, this part also in the right right side so select that I can handle and make it the joint the the toe last toe joint this one uh, the parent of the I can handle so it will also move along with the toe joint so the uh, leg setup has been uh, completed and uh, when we are uh, move on to the controlling part creating the controllers of the entire body then we will see uh, with the custom attributes we can create uh, the rotation of this uh, toe ball joint and the toe tip joint so that my foot uh, actually move uh, according to that so now moving on to the next part we will uh, also create the finger joints also uh, for creating the finger joints move on to the top viewport and bones make sure there's a uh, one single joint it's been made like from this point to this fine and I need uh, two more joints so move to the bone tools 
so refine select one over there and another one over here so that is the actual uh, number of joints which I actually required just switch off that thing and see that the, uh, the bones has been created in the, uh, in the very uh, on the grid uh, so we have to move on and here we have to work on the perspective view so we can make sure that the joint is absolutely within the model okay fine is it okay yep fine now make sure uh, you duplicate the thing and you have to reposition the base joint don't forget you have to reposition the base joint and rotate only the base joint in the side axis and then again move on to the animation bone tools and switch on the bone edit mode because this joint uh, need to be repositioned this is not in the right position so uh, for bone edit mode on you see that you I cannot I cannot make a distinct you know exact uh, backward movement in the uh, axis because there is no supporting axis over here uh, for uh, for that supporting axis we have to move on to that uh, local axis and now we can move according to the uh, the joint chain without hampering the uh, rotational movement and now it's uh, actually it's been perfectly fit it's be around over here if I'm not too wrong yep fine okay now again I have to duplicate this and again we have to rotate the base joint only not the others so make sure your base joint is only moving and again select this joint and switch on the bone edit mode and reposition it according to your characters finger that's it uh, fine and switch off the bone edit mode uh, now move on to the perspective view for make sure that uh, you're uh, you are in the right position Okay, fine now again we have to uh, duplicate the joints so that we want local axis and from the top view just make sure okay now the thing is we have to understand the base the uh, axis which is uh, towards the mm, child the rotation uh, should be in the same direction see this in the base joint is in y-axis this is also in the y-axis and this is also in the y-axis same as over here 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 and also over here here and here so that thing we have to maintain and as our uh, uh, this uh, y-axis movement not exactly on the top side of the finger it's actually the sideways if you see the uh, model you see that uh, generally the thumb is in the uh, you know sideways a bit so we have to make sure that the y-axis uh, should be over around here fine and actually our uh, uh, thumb will be rotated in two directions one is this z-axis another one is uh, this for curling 
same thing uh, also goes for this this finger this is this will also move towards the uh, uh, z axis and the y axis both so make sure uh, that has been perfectly done okay fine now you have to understand that the the base of the uh, thumb actually starts from around over here so uh, switch on the bone edit mode and make sure that your thumbs base is actually here another one should go around here fine and other one is absolutely in the fine position yep so this is the uh, joints for the finger and right now what we can do we can connect these uh, joints and before connecting that select all the joints right click oops sorry right click freeze transformation I think I haven't done this for oops okay for these joints alt right click freeze transformation yes select this this and the last one all right click freeze transfer this is very very important F don't forget to freeze the uh, joints this is very very important okay right now we can connect this uh, wrist joint with the fingers so uh, connect bones select connect bone select connect bone select connect bone select so oh my joints if I'm not too wrong this will move a bit inside maybe mm -hmm. okay now that's it so select all the joints again and right click alt right click freeze transformation yes so now what we will do we can uh, mirror these joints on the other side so select these joints and delete and uh, double double click on that the base joint and you'll see the all the hierarchy has been selected and move on to mirrors and say okay so as your model has been perfectly mirrored uh, your bones will also be perfectly mirrored so that is the important part uh that's it uh, next uh, chapter we'll move on to the uh controlling systems and the uh, jaw bones and few other stops thank you very much